Now, before you immediately dislike this video, please just hear me out. Um, I've been following everyday feminism for a while. Like, since I was 12. So, like, quite a while ago. Anyways, I followed them when I guess I was, like, more of a feminist. Um, I've kind of drifted away from feminism just because third wave feminism to me doesn't seem like equal rights for everybody. Just kind of seems like rights for women. I'm all for rights for women, but I want equal rights for men. Anyways, so recently, Everyday Feminism posted an article. Whether or not you disagree or agree with my opinion, hear me out, please. Thank you. About um, the N-word. Now, I personally, I don't say it, whatever. I just, it's not something in my vocabulary that I say. Um, but, you know, I guess it was like why white people shouldn't say it. Because it's racist and to me, um, I commented that we shouldn't censor things. I don't agree with censorship. I think it gives words way too much power. I think that we should not let words just control our lives, you know? If someone, like, sticks and stones. It's kind of how it should still be, I think. And I just feel like now you can't say anything without somebody getting offended by it. So everything's censored. And I feel like it shouldn't be that way. So I commented something similar to that. I can't get to the comments now because they blocked me. I'll have proof of that, whether or not it be in this video or on my Instagram. You can go see it if you want. Try to add it in this video best I can, but I haven't uploaded in a while and kind of shit at editing. Anyways, somebody commented back to me saying that um, it's not censorship because um, in the First Amendment, I don't live in the States, but it, it doesn't count as hate speech. Like, it, it, hate speech isn't in the First Amendment. That's not freedom of speech, blah, 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 which I agree with. If someone's using racist slang terms as hate speech, that's wrong. But context is everything. My point, so I answered this person and I said something like, what about when they made Stephen King rewrite, like get some, an editor to take out the N-word in a book that took place in like the 1930s? To me, that's censorship because Stephen King isn't being racist. He's not spreading hate speech. He's not trying to be racist. He's just using the word because in the context of the time period of the book, people would be saying that word. To me, that's censorship. So it depends on the situation. And ag again, like me and this girl had a discussion and then more people joined in. Some people were really rude. Some people actually like tried to see my point of view. And I, uh, the reason I do this, I, I people call me a troll all the time. I'm not trolling. I go on Everyday Feminism and I comment all the time on the articles I agree and disagree with, not just disagree with. But I try to, like, understand where the other person's coming from. I want to know. I want to understand, like, everything. I don't want to be somebody who's closed-minded. So if I see something I don't agree with, I explain why I don't agree with it. And if someone makes a fair point, I go, hey, that's a pretty good point. But I still stand on this side because of this point. Anyways, I guess some people were swearing at me, whatever. Somebody... Then I, I brought up the word retard. If that offends you, whatever. Um, I talked about how it used to be used as a medical term to describe people and how uh, definitions can change in English class. Just in I, I told someone to take English class. They didn't know. Whatever. I was rude. <laughs> but I don't care. Um, you know, like, gay used to mean happy. Gay doesn't mean happy anymore. My point was the N-word is not used as an oppression word anymore by a majority of people. Most people use it as just like, hey buddy, like, you know, like in the, in the color community, people say it as like a non-racist slang term. It's just like a word for them. Just because you're white and you say it doesn't mean you're 100% racist, in my opinion. You know, like, you can't tell somebody what to say if they're not doing it as hate speech. Context is everything. People were just saying that the context doesn't matter and that um, me saying retard how do you th how do I think like disabled people feel whatever about the way I'm taught like 
using what people call them as a slang term, like, I used an example if I said the bus is retarded, am I referring to a mentally disabled person? No, because the bus doesn't have a mind. The bus isn't a living thing. The bus is just late and I'm mad at it. Majority of people, again, in society, I don't think they use retard as a mentally disabled person. Yes, there are the few occasions where you hear someone say retard and it's towards somebody with a mental disability. That person's just a fucking asshole. That's not majority of people. Most people aren't using words to just oppress people and put each other down. I'm sorry, that's not how it fucking works. Anyways, so uh, Everyday Feminism blocked me. Um, yes, it took them a while, but they, they blocked me. In my mind, that kind of proves my point, doesn't it? That we shouldn't censor people. God forbid I have a different opinion than them. God forbid I say something out of the ordinary. God forbid I don't fit in their little square box, right? Tiny little square box that doesn't matter. I guess if I don't agree with 100% everything they say, I get blocked and I'm a, I'm a Nazi and I'm a racist. And this is what people were calling me. I, I made a point. I stated facts on why I agreed with that point. I posted articles. I posted, like, I feel like you shouldn't give words that much power. Words should not control your life. If you run around living your life being offended by everything, you're gonna have a shitty, miserable fucking life. Get over it. I get called a fag all the time. All the time people call me a fucking faggot. Do I get mad? Yeah, maybe. Do I call the cops? Because it's hate speech? No. Why would I do that? That's a waste of fucking time. And if I run around going, oh my god, I got called a fag again today. My life's gonna be pretty shit. You know what I do? I laugh and I insult them back. You have the right to insult them back. Just fucking do it. If someone calls you a faggot or a retard, just say you're retarded too. Something, you know, just you have the right to say it back. And if you censor it, what if someone says you're retarded and you don't know what to say back? What are you gonna say? What word can we use? We can't use moron because that, that was a scientific description. We, we can't use stupid. That's offensive to some people. Can't use ignorant. That's offensive. Can't you like you can't use any word? Are we just never gonna be allowed? Do we have to create a whole new language? A whole new language to describe things? You can't use any words, ever. Doesn't make sense. Use the words we're given. Don't give them so much goddamn fucking power. Stop acting like every time you're offended, it's hate speech and you get to call the police. Oh no, someone said retard about a fucking, they fell down the stairs and they said, fuck, uh, retarded. I fell down the stairs and all, the... oh, you're gonna call the cops on them for hate speech? Fuck you and your shitty fucking opinion. I don't care if you dislike this video based on just the title because you don't give a shit and you're proving my point too. Everyday fe feminism censored me because I had a different opinion because I didn't agree with them. And even when I did agree with them, Somebody always commented about how, even though I agreed with them, I was fucking wrong. I don't understand. Who can you please? You can't please anybody anymore. No matter what you do, you're gonna offend somebody. So just do what you have to do. Tell everyone to fuck off and do your own thing because I'm so sick of this goddamn censored society where we let words control us and everybody just bitches about everything and everyone gets offended at everything. Stop being so goddamn sensitive. Enjoy your fucking life and live while you can and stop crying to the police about fucking hate speech when it's not hate speech. If it's actual hate speech, fucking call the cops. I don't care if someone's fucking harassing you and calling you names, call the cops. But if someone walks by you and like you bump shoulders with them and you say fuck you or something and they turn around and say you're a faggot and you call the cops, like fuck you. You're the one who's retarded. You're the one who caused the problem. You can't just blame people for everything else. You can't act like everyone is like oppressed by words. Like, every single word. You telling... Like, these non-disabled people are telling disabled people that they should be offended by the word retard. You're setting up these people to hear this word all the time and just automatically assume it's about them. And that they're related to these things. You're stupid. Teach them that the words don't matter and that sticks and stones may break our bones but fucking names can't hurt them. Give them some tough skin. They want to be treated like everyone else. Why you gotta fucking censor everything? Fuck. Christ. That's all I really have to say. But 
I guess everyday feminism doesn't let you agree or disagree with anybody else's fucking opinions anymore. You're not allowed to have an opinion in society anymore. You just gotta go with the flow and agree with every fucking thing these SJWs say. Anyways, I'm out. Thank you for watching this video. Haven't uploaded in a long time. If you're still subscribed, thanks. If you're not, subscribe. And my Instagram is blue morning, blue day. I will link it in the description. Probably posting the fact that everyday feminism blocked me on there as well. Thank you for watching.